In this class, we learn five different types of chemical reactions. Synthesis, decomposition, combustion, single replacement, and double replacement. We usually use chemical equations to represent these, but you know what's better? Sandwiches. So now I present to you if chemical reactions were sandwiches. First up on the menu is synthesis. In science, to synthesize means to make. So synthesis is just making things, like a sandwich. For this video, let's just say that the bread is kind of like a beaker. Now here's some bread with peanut butter on it, and now here's some jelly. And now wait for it. It's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich! Wow! Who'd have guessed? Any two elements combined with each other to make a single product is a synthesis reaction. For example, zinc and iodine react to make zinc iodide. Let's take a look at this reaction so I can waste a little bit more of your time. Next up is decomposition, which is pretty much just the opposite of synthesis. It's like taking a sandwich apart for some reason. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Maybe you're one of those trendy chefs that thinks deconstructed spaghetti and coffee is okay? Anyways, let's take a look at a decomposition reaction we've already seen this year. Next up is combustion, which is the one reaction that doesn't really work with my whole sandwich analogy, so let's just ignore that. Combustion is, usually, when a hydrocarbon, such as this one here, reacts with oxygen to create carbon dioxide and water. It can also just be another element or compound burning. Let's take a look. Right there, that's me. I was burning the methane that was trapped under the ice, so that methane was turning into carbon dioxide and water. The second to last reaction is known as single replacement, and we're back to the sandwiches for this one. Let's say you have a sandwich with some turkey and cheese on it, but then you see some lettuce. You like lettuce better, and you're also a little bit ungrateful, so you decide to switch out your cheese with the lettuce. Now, if instead of having the option of lettuce, let's say that you saw tomatoes instead. You don't like tomatoes, they're just too uncertain about themselves. If you like the cheese better, then it makes no sense to switch it out with the tomatoes. That's kind of like how an activity series works, but that's a lesson for another video that I'm not going to make. Alright, the last type of reaction we're covering is double replacement, and it's pretty exciting since this time we're talking about two sandwiches. Let's say that you and your friend both have a sandwich. You have turkey and cheese on yours, and your friend has peanut butter and jelly. Both of you hate yourselves, so you decide to swap an ingredient, and that's it. I guess it's a pretty anticlimactic ending, so let's just finish this off by watching the pretty sparklers again. Thanks for watching!